Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm PJ McTavish, and welcome back to another. We're doing the short questions on the 3D graphic shows a bicycle shelter. The drawing shows an incomplete dimetric projection of a similar shelter using the axonometric axis method. The horizontal plane is also included. So A, complete the axonometric projection of a bike shelter, and then B, a line joining Y, uh, a line joining Y to B represents a straight line path of the football. Show the point of impact of the ball with the glass roof in the axonometric view. Okay, the so first thing we're doing A is complete the axiometric projection of the bike shelter. So if you look at, we have our end view here, we have our elevation. End view is giving you your points for the uh, bike racks. The also giving you the points for the actual shelter itself. So we're gonna complete that. Secondly, it's a dimetric. So the angles here should be the same projecting down. So we're gonna set up our just set for first to that angle so that we can project our points. Okay, so next we're going to complete the view. So I'm going to start off with the shelter itself first, maybe. And if you look at the 3D graphic, there are just supports here in this glass. So there's going to be no um, projection lines between the two here on our horizontal plane. There is going to be this support beam here, you see there in the 3D graphic in the center. So let's see. Perfect. We don't have it here, but what we are going to do is project it down to where it hits the edge and project that across the same angle as this one here. So first thing we're going to do is project our corners here of the um, end view, sorry, the elevation, and then we we'll project the points from the end view. That's the main structure of the shelter point. So we have our top points here, the bottom plates, the points there, join back down. The center line here, that uh, support beam there. This point is projected down to hit the left hand side edge here, and then just projected on the same angle, it gives you the top point. Now I've kept it light for now because we're going to put in the um, bicycle supports now, and then when that's done, I'll draw in the front. So for the bicycle supports, we are going to project them down from the elevation and from the end view. Again, the end view is giving you the baseline and the two top lines, and then our uh, elevation here is giving you the, the heights. For them all so let's see we'll project down they have given you some of it already they're giving you the baseline here also well, showed you again these axometric questions they give you so much detail look at the base point here it's projected from that back one there so that's where that one ends if we continue to project it down bring this point down we'll see where the front of it is so i'll fast forward through this this should be straightforward enough Now, before we move on, the only thing they haven't given us here is the height. So if we, this height here is a different height to the first one there. It isn't shown in the elevation, but these are autographic views. So if we get our height from the ground line here, perpendicular straight up to that point, that height would be the same height over here in the elevation with the same points. Draw them all across, check them out, and we can put in our view. So that's our first bike rack done. So once we have the first one done, all we need to do is project down the same points back down to the same projection lines from the end view here, and it'll give us the rest of what we see, what we'll see strong, etc. So I'll fast, for I'll fast forward through this. I'm going to mark different points first, then I'm going to draw them strong.
So that is part A finished and drawn in strong. Now it's a bit of an awkward one because it is basically a line diagram because there's no thickness uh, to either the racks or the structure and there is not really much hidden detail because, or not hidden detail but like you're figuring out what you can see because you can't see all of them because they're all just line diagrams. So it's a bit messy but that is the question done in part A done. So now we're moving on to part B. So it says a line drawn in Y to B represents a straight line path of a football. So Y to B, find Y, find B. So we have B and Y here. We have Y up here in the end view or the elevation. So we also have Y and B in the axiometric. So the point of impact of the ball with the glass roof in the axiometric view. So let's go draw the line in first. So that orange line there represents our uh, line Y to B. So as you can see from the elevator or from the end view, we can see exactly where it crosses the glass roof. In the axiometric view, you couldn't really guess it there where it's going to hit it because you don't know exactly where it is from the view. But in this end view of the line here, we can clearly see it's crossing the roof here. So if I project that point back down before I get my Y B line here in the axiometric view, it clearly show you the point where the ball hits the glass roof. That is the question done. That's A1 done. Uh, clearly showing the point where it's about through and you completed the axiometric view. So straightforward enough as an axiometric question. As I said in the predictions video, this came up last year, so this is last year's one and it came up the year before that. So possibility of it coming up three years in a row. Not impossible because it has done in axiometric has come up three years in a row in section B. So the possibility could go up again in the short versions. So as always, I hope this helped. Uh, leave a like if it did. Good luck in your exams and we'll see you in the next